Morristown, New Jersey, a walking tour. Hi, my name is Patricia Lopez of Remax Properties Unlimited. I'm a local realtor in the area and I figured it would be nice to get a videotape of the downtown district. Morristown is a historical town with a metropolitan flair. Here we're walking down what we call South Street. It's most downtown area of Main Street. We have many restaurants, bars, coffee shops, places of interest, as well as historical sites in the downtown district. Here's Sona 13's local bar. Then we just passed Pamir, which is Afghanistan food. Zabu is primarily a bakery, but they do serve light lunch. The office is bar slash grill. Cordoba Mexican Grill is Mexican food on the first floor of our new luxury condo living building, 40 Park Place. As we walk further down west, we run into what's called Urban Table. Urban Table is owned by the same proprietors of the next door steakhouse Roots. Urban Table is casual fare, hamburgers, ribs, good french fries. Roots is our fine steakhouse. Uh, it's excellent dining. Uh, make reservations in advance. It's a beautiful bar with no television in there, so it's nice for conversation. We're looking up on the high rise of 40 Park Place, which pricing pretty much starts in the 500s and goes up to 2 million. Roots is our anchor restaurant on the first floor of 40 Park, and it faces the green, which is our downtown square. Morristown's design is a Spanish style design with just like what we used to call El Centro, which is the center of a downtown district. Uh, and here we have Starbucks. Starbucks used to situate themselves on this corner when it was the old Epstein's retail store. And they made a comeback into the same location. And it's a nice space, uh, plenty of room to sit, many laptops uh, set up in the area, and just light conversation and meeting friends for a quick cup of coffee and just sit and relax the views overlooking the square. As we continue on, uh, westbound, we go on to what's called Washington Street. Here's our local florist. And we fur go continue further west and we run into uh, another bar slash restaurant, very casual, called the Famished Frog. They do have uh, large square footage, so there are some groups that meet there as casual get-togethers. Um, and next to that is what's called the Sidebar. The name comes from a location being so close to the courthouse. Sidebar is a little bit more upscale, uh, very nice casual place, does have entertainment in the evening. Here we are on Washington Street on the north side. We have a sushi uh, restaurant and you can see there's quite a bit of new high rises in the area. Next to that we continue down going back east towards the square and we have a Cuban restaurant which is one of my favorites called Cha Cha Cha. Uh, excellent Cuban food. It's a small little restaurant and it's bring your own. There's quite a bit of bring your own restaurants now in Morristown, which many people now are enjoying. Next door we have a Japanese restaurant, Nagano, uh, and we will continue eastbound. Here is the square, our famous green. The green is a small park area that is the central district of the downtown area. We're looking at also on the northbound side our high rises, which are mostly attorneys, offices, um, corporate centers, but also they do have a uh, movie theater on the ground floor. The green is beautiful park. There's nice little roots, trails throughout, well lit, beautiful trees on the property. A couple of the historical monuments, uh, fountain uh, honoring the Revolutionary War, and that is the front side of 40 Park Place, which was recently built. Here is um, just a casual walk down the center of the green. The downtown district does use the green for entertaining um, events in the downtown uh, parks. They also have uh, entertainment uh, in the summertime. They have movies, outdoor movies. They do the Santa Claus set up in the center. Uh, and it's just a great square where people can come together and socialize and give the town a sense of community. We continue on, you can see it's well landscaped, beautiful trees, beautiful flowers, uh, and it does have the historical uh, lamps and uh, gives the square some feel to them. 
Also, Morristown is quite a bit of a financial center. There's many banks, investment sites, uh, as well as pharmaceuticals being represented on the square. Here you're overlooking uh, the north side of the green, and Morristown has quite a number of beautiful architectural churches, fabulous uh, architectural details to the buildings, uh, historical monuments right on the square as well as throughout the parks. Here's our downtown retail store, Century 21. It is the anchor going northbound towards Morris Plains. Uh, here's a tribute to the Seeing Eye, the School for the Blind. So in Morristown you will see many people learning to walk independently with their Seeing Eye dog. And again, here are some of the churches, the stonework, and the beautiful architectural designs are just a nice contrast to the new uh, modern buildings and architecture that are uh, spotting the downtown. Here you have a beautiful uh, steeple, um, and here we're going to continue uh, eastbound towards the train. Uh, on the square you do have the post office, and you can see it is architecturally, architecturally an interesting building. Uh, Greenberry Coffee is also on the green. Uh, Caddy Corner to Starbucks, another great coffee shop and casual place to meet. And you can see that you can park all along the square and there is parking on the side streets. Uh, here we're going to continue eastbound on South Street and we will see some of the financial institutions, a little bit more of the architectural value of the churches. Uh, and it was a beautiful day, so people are casually walking about. Morristown is a metered downtown district, but uh, there is plenty of parking. Here is our anchor, Brown Schweiger's Jewelers. Uh, here is their famous clock, uh, beautiful fine, fine jewelry, um, and uh, servicing the downtown district. We continue on. Uh, this is a new addition, Kebab Fusion. A Mediterranean Grill. Um, they were still in the process of opening. Milano's, uh, another pizzeria, Italian casual food. Uh, continuing on with our churches. And we will continue forward. Uh, the established Women's Club of Morristown, built in the 1700s. Beautiful architecture mixed in right in the metropolitan downtown area on South Street. Uh, Morristown, the w Women's Club, has been uh, there for many, many years, and it is a beautiful tribute to the downtown. Here is Dublin Pub, our Irish pub. Uh, if you zoom in, you can see whoever hung the letters probably stopped at the pub first and then did the job. Slightly crooked, but it's a great place. They do have entertainment in the evening. Here's a view down uh, Pine Street, which has some nice shops. A uh, couple other restaurants are in, which is Thai restaurant, and next door to that, you do have uh, another sushi restaurant and Korean food as well. Um, so you can see Morristown, this is just a small sampling of what Morristown has to offer. Here, continuing eastbound on South Street, you get an overall view. Here is the community theater. The community theater is a beautiful, restored theater that has live entertainment. We had George Benson here recently. Uh, they do have big, big names come in. Um, Bill Cosby, comedy, um, also classical, brick oven for custom pizzas of any kind that you'd like. Community theater is just a beautiful place that you can go and have fine dining downtown and then go to the theater and be able to walk home, which many towns can't do. Uh, and also, you are only one hour from New York City by the Midtown Direct. Here we're looking at the side of the community theater, which is Vail Mansion. Vail Mansion is a historical site, and you can see it does cover a quite a big, big, uh, quite a large square. It does have a uh, reflection pond, and they redid the herringbone pavers, the brick pavers. It is another one of Morristown's historical spots to allow the local community to congregate and get together and mingle prior to maybe catching a show. Uh, the main building itself, uh, Vale Mansion, is uh, right now luxury condos as well. Uh, we continue on another one of our churches in the area and you can see that Morristown does have every denomination represented. Here is our Morristown Library, another beautiful
stone building with architectural value. They did add a very large addition, um, and the main entrance is still, the main door is still not open yet, but here is our addition, and next to it is the bookstore. Uh, it's a beautiful federal style building. Uh, you can see traffic is uh, pretty pretty abundant in the downtown. Uh, here we have Akio Akulo, I have pr trouble pronouncing it, Modern Asian Cuisine. And then we have uh, Dessert Delights, Sweet Lucy's Bakery right next door. And next to that we have another steakhouse, J&K, which I haven't had the opportunity to dine yet. But it's uh, one of our other steakhouses on the main drag, on the main street, that uh, has very good reviews. We continue onward, eastbound, and here we have a, a, a salon, a uh, BC salon that's moved into the area, beautiful building, uh, nice elegant exterior, and right as we continue eastbound, we hit the creamery. The creamery is not only ice cream, but it does have nice luncheon menu. Uh, great spot to take the kids. Does have nice espresso, gelato desserts, and it's just a nice place to go. Omaha Steaks is still here. Say cheese, beautiful uh, food uh, for takeout or dine in for cheeses, specialty items. And we have a new addition, another restaurant, David Todd's City Tavern, uh, which many people have started to uh, visit and frequent in the area. Uh, coffee house uh, and we continue eastbound and you can see there's just such a variety in the downtown uh, you have tart and tufo which is pure goodness cupcakes desserts chocolates just sweets um, galore uh, the teaching room which is actually uh, a toy store that has educational back uh, theme to it Guerrero's is one of the famous uh, Italian restaurants it's BYOB and like I said, many restaurants in Morristown now are BYOB. And next to that, we do have a um, liquor store which uh, specializes in wines, which I found uh, to be extremely helpful for the BYOBs. They do deliver. It's called Grateful. Very knowledgeable staff, very helpful, and they are willing to deliver to the BYOBs. Uh, we just passed Ricciardi Brothers, which is a paint store and decorating. Next to it is a salon. Uh, we also have a nails uh, place as well as Chinese restaurant um, and then we are adjacent to one of our other stone churches on South Street and that pretty much continue, uh, completes our tour. Here is the Remax building. It's a beautiful historical building uh, at 1 Madison Avenue uh, right off of Route 287. Thank you so much for um, viewing this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I hope to produce